Hi my loves, welcome back to a new video. If you're new here, my name is Anushka. I know I've been gone for a while. I've actually vlogged a bit, which we'll go more into that. But today I'm actually gonna sit down and try a bunch of new hyped up makeup products that I went out and bought. And I also did receive quite a bit of PR as well. So yeah, it's just gonna be a fun try on video. Before I jump into the video, I'm gonna do my post notification shout out. And today's one's gonna go to Adina Khan. So thank you so much for hitting that bell button. I really appreciate it. And if you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and let me know in the comments below when you've done so. Now, today's video is actually sponsored by Shoptega, which is one of my favorite apps to use to save some money, stay organized, and just keep on top of my online shopping. What I mean by that is that when I'm online shopping, the app helps me to save money, uh, save items for later, and then make a proper decision on whether I actually do want that item or not, because I tend to just buy it on the spot without like impulse buying, that's what I do all the time. The app has actually helped me can kind of control that a little bit. And I also like to save items for later on when there's like deals and that's how you save a lot of money because the item you want ends up going on sale like a month later. So it's kind of like worth the wait to save some money, right? Who doesn't want to save money? All you have to do to download the Shoptaker app is go to your Google Chrome browser, search Shoptaker and kind of like sign up and download the button it takes like two minutes and you're good to go you can go straight on to browsing your favorite online stores but let's say you're on a website and you see an item that you're really interested in and um, whenever you're looking at items online the shop taker button will pop out and that's when you can save that item to a specific wish list that you've created i've got so many that i save mine to um, and then you can also choose to receive email or mobile push notifications when the item is out of stock um, so it will notify you when it's back in stock or you can choose to receive notifications if the item goes on sale as well. So it's super, super handy. Then when you go to your Shoptega dashboard, you'll see all your items that you've saved, your different wish lists. It just creates an organized plan of everything that you're interested in and you wanna buy. And like I said, it's quite handy to look at the items you saved months ago and then think about if you still want it. And if you do, then go ahead and purchase it. Now, my favorite part of the app is when you go to your checkout, the shop taker button will pop out with some coupon codes that it's found and it will automatically run all those coupon codes against your basket to try and save you some money, which is so, so cool and so handy because before I used to literally search coupon codes on Google and run them myself whilst the app just does it for you and it takes like a couple of minutes. It's definitely time saving and saves me some money. And yes, if you do like to shop on your mobile, you can download the Shoptaker app onto your mobile phone. Yeah guys, if you want to jump on board and save some money with your online shopping and be really organized, definitely check out the link in the info box to download Shoptaker. Right, let's start with our makeup guys. I'm gonna use my Benefit Brow Micro Filling Pen and I use the shade Deep Brown. kind of grown really fond of this brow kind of like pen because it just lets my um, natural brow hairs kind of like show through rather than kind of like being block brows. Then I'm going to use my Revolution Pro Volume and Sculpt Dark Brown Brow Gel. I really need to go buy some makeup wipes. Like when I do makeup videos and I don't have makeup wipes, I feel lost. So I'm just going to use some concealer just to clean up my brows. Just quickly do the top two. My brows turned out darker. I'm not sure about the brow gel anymore now. I think I like, I prefer more clear brow gel gels lately, especially just going with like the got to be a hair gel. Okay, I'm just going to put more of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Honestly, my most favourite concealer. I always have like a backup ready. But I like trying different concealers and I, I do have some other favourites, but I always tend to go back to my Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to be using the NARS Extreme Effects Eyeshadow Palette, which is so stunning. And I'm first going to go with this burnt orange shade. I mean, look how pigmented that is. So I really want like a blown out look. I'm just gonna bring that into the inner corner as well. 
super intense. I'm just gonna take a smaller brush and I'm gonna go in with this kind of like pinky shade right here just to blend out the edges. Okay, I'm now gonna take this burnt shimmery copper shade with my finger and I'm gonna put that in the center. Honestly, that feels so soft. Then I'm gonna take this beautiful like gold bronze shade and I've wet my brush. I'm just gonna pick this up, put this in the corner. Just tap it. I'm gonna make it a mission that when I use my brushes, I need to like clean them now, like ASAP when I'm done filming so that I don't find myself with a bunch of dirty brushes because not only does it one, stop me from filming but two it gives me so many spots my sister got the ordinary niacinamide serum and the hyaluronic um acid serum as well and she's been using it and her skin has improved so much so i might actually might need to go get it i actually i need to buy straight from the dcm website because they're literally out of stock everywhere i'm gonna get another brush actually I'm just deepening that outer corner a little bit. Now there's a really pretty black in here. So I'm gonna try and smudge that on my lash line. I love like a smoky black eyeliner, but it's got like flecks of glitter in it as well, but it's super black. So black. I'm just gonna wing it slightly, not too much. But so far, I'm really, really pleased with this palette, especially with that black. Because I haven't been wearing any makeup, my lashes have, been, has, has, have grown like crazy. So next, I'm gonna use the NARS Climax Extreme Mascara, which I'm so excited about. This is what the brush looks like. Now, I've heard really, really good things about this mascara, so definitely excited my most favorite mascara at the moment that i've been really reaching for a lot is the huda beauty one the legit lashes mascara i can't stress enough how good that mascara is now this um mascara brush is definitely different to what i'm used to i prefer more like plastic brushes i feel like this is like the standard bristle brush but it's doing a good job so far really black so guys i actually watched um american murder on netflix oh my god the most traumatizing thing i've ever watched it's real and the guy seems so normal but you know what i was really skeptical of him because when he walked into the house he was too calm if my whole family's missing like i'm i'm gonna be like hysteric and i know people deal with trauma in different ways but he was way too calm really agitated it was just so weird even the neighbor found him really weird i kind of regret watching it because it's that messed up but another show that i really liked was mildred ratchet which is kind of like a horror thriller i would say it was really good and i love the actress and it kind of reminded me of like american horror story vibes okay i might build on that a little bit later but those are the eyes let me give you a quick Close up. Okay, so now we can move on to skin. I'm first gonna start off with this Origins Ginseng SPF 40. I think I've tried this before, but it's not a great tint for my skin tone, but I'm gonna use it today. Um, I didn't buy this. Um, it actually came into in a, a, one of the Look Fantastic Estee Lauder boxes, um, which I think it was like a really cool bargain. I definitely need a wipe. <laughs> I'm using a wet tissue guys. It comes in a tube like this. I forgot how like origin stuff smells so nice. I've never really tried this on my face. 
because I used to swatch on my hand and saw like when it goes this ashy color but then I don't know I was just like ah, actually I don't want this but it feels really nice so I'm gonna see if this I don't think this tint is gonna go because it's a tinted um, moisturizer but we'll keep it anyways <laughs> next thing I've been really excited about but I actually tested it out yesterday and I was really really pleased with it um, but I've been dying to try this since I saw Jamie Genevieve use this in one in some of her videos and it looks so flawless on her yeah definitely this origins SPF 50 is not is a big no-no for me like if I'm wearing it on its own but if I'm wearing it under makeup like I'll probably still use it because it feels really hydrating um, and it protects so yeah as I was saying, I'm, I'm I'm going to be using the Hollywood Flawless Filter by Charlotte Tilbury and I got the shade 6 Dark Tan. So I was really sceptical when this released, like I, I didn't understand it, I thought like oh it's just this kind of like illuminator that you can put under your makeup right, but it's not. Like you can just wear this on its own, it comes with a really big doe fit applicator. It's kind it's definitely more on the sheer side but you can definitely build up on it. Jamie Genevieve did mention that it, it applies way better with a brush which is what I'm gonna do and I kind of just kind of like stipple it on my face And I'm really glad I didn't go with the shade below because this is a bit more on the orangey side for me but it kind of like just blended into my skin nicely. Gosh, that SPF definitely gave me some ashy vibes. But to be honest, it actually covered some of my scarring really well. I love how hydrating this is. I actually don't think I'm going to apply more. Maybe a little bit on my cheeks because that's why I want a bit more coverage. And also smile lines was really minimal with this too and it actually stayed on even with the mask on my face most of the day so I was really impressed guys so I'm quite I'm quite happy I tried it before trying it in this video for like a full day so I can really like tell you guys how I've been liking it I mean I've only used it once but I was really impressed with the way it looked um, it's very dewy as you can tell but um, I would definitely recommend like setting it with a powder which I'll do in a bit. The next thing I bought is this Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Under Eye Concealer and I got shade Honey. I actually saw this in Super Drugs and I, I, I've never seen it before so I thought yeah, oh, why not give it a try. And it's, it comes with like a doe for applicator. out with my beauty blender I mean it's not full full coverage it's kind of see-through when you apply it I would say it's more light to medium coverage I mean it's not too bad but it's definitely moving around a lot not bad at it I'll try and put a bit more where I've got my scarring showing through Oh, so like if you let the concealer like dry a little bit on your face, it actually gives more coverage. Okay, so now on to powder, which I'm so excited. And this is one of the items that I've had saved on my Shoptega dashboard for a while. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Charlotte Tilbury packaging is so beautiful, but you can tell instantly when it's dirty, like with fingerprints and stuff. But this is the packaging and I got the shade two. Apply that straight under my eyes. So, uh, Jamie Genevieve, I've been obsessed with her makeup videos because her makeup is always flawless, but she used this powder as well with the, the Charlotte Tilbury filter thing and her base just looks flawless. And right now, like, I'm not gonna lie, like my base does look really nice. I'm just like setting everything and taking away a bit of that shine because it's a bit on board, but I'll show my upper lip. But I don't mind a glow, like I love it. I know Chi Chi, you're not gonna go out in the rain, sorry, sorry. I kind of really regret making my cat be an outdoor cat. I don't know why I let him taste the outside world because I get nervous when he gets it goes out. No!
and he is the most stubborn cat of life. If you don't let him out, he will pee and poop everywhere. There's a little box, because I have another cat that I don't let, Sky, who doesn't go out, but he will literally poop and pee everywhere and show his frustration on my other cat and attack her, and he's just such a rebel. I'm such a rebel. But I love him anyway, because he's like my little baby still. I got this by Terry Balm rose balm in my october look fantastic box um which was really a treat actually and i'm just gonna try this on i might actually keep that in my brush box whenever i'm filming because that feels really nice oh, i don't know if i can still put mascara on because i like like layering it but it's dried now so i think i might just put a little bit Okay, so the next thing I got was some Beauty Bay powders. They came out with some new powders. So I got a bronzer and a blush. And I got this bronzer in the shade Caramel. It's not bad, I'm really not mad at that that blended really nicely and the shades actually like really perfect for me I'm just gonna put some on my nose <sighs> don't ruin my eye makeup Oh my god, I just poked myself in the eye. Okay, I'm happy with my nose. Oh my god. Oh, now we're gonna move on to blush, but I'm really happy with the bronzer. Like, I definitely see myself using that, and it was so affordable. Okay, so the next product is this blush in the shade Coral, and it's like this deep coral shade. Start with a little bit, because these are actually really pigmented. I'm gonna put a little bit first. I'm so like obsessed with my base right now. It looks so nice. Um, and then next I'm gonna be using this Fenty Beauty matchstick in the shade Rum, which I've never used before. This was gifted to me. Um, I might actually do a Fenty face video because I was sent a bunch of their stuff that I really would like to try. That is really nice. Like I really like that. I forgot how much I love the Fenty Beauty matchsticks. I'm gonna go in and finish my eyes now. I think I'm gonna go in with that deep maroon shade that we use on the outer corner i honestly can't live with like without eyeshadow on my lower lash line i just feel like i don't look the same so we're gonna put some mascara okay so now to complete the look we're gonna go for lips i'm gonna use my morphe lip pencil in the shade sugar pie And then finally, I'm gonna use the new Makeup Revolution Friends collab collab collaboration um, lipstick, and this one's in the shade Monica, which, and I think Monica is my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. It's definitely more matte, very opaque, and that applied beautifully. Just brush me hair, my new black hair. Use this little shade here for my inner corner highlight. Oh. So yeah guys, this is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this kind of like try on video. I had so much fun filming it and oh, I feel so good with makeup on. It just, it's just crazy what a, a nice glam can do um, and new hair as well. Um, I was so impressed with the NARS palette. I really like the mascara, the Charlotte Tilbury base. 
I got a bristle there. <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury Fullers Filter and the powder is bomb. I was really surprised by these Beauty Bay powders. Really recommend these. Now the Origins SPF is like a no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy this, but I would. I will use it under my makeup only. Um, what else did I try? I really like the Monica lipstick. I don't know how I feel about this concealer. I need to play around with it more and I'll definitely update you guys. If I do like it, you'll see it more in my videos. Oh, and the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. That's a really nice glow, especially for my skin tone. Um, so yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what products stood out to you the most. Don't forget to check out the Shop Taker link in the info box before you go. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video.